Hey, baby, you want to see something cool? Watch this. Cool. <gasps> yeah. Oh, wow. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Helldivers 2 video. With the failed launch of the Battlefront Classic Collection, I needed a little bit of childhood nostalgia because I was so excited to play as the Jump Trooper like I did when I was a kid. So today, we're going to be going over the Jump Pack. A stratagem I would put in the same category as the Ballistic Shield. Fun, but could use a li just, just a little bit more oomph, if you know what I mean. I'll go over what I liked about the Jump Pack and what I think needs to be changed to balance out the experience. But before we get into it, go ahead and smack that like button and leave a comment letting me know if you guys like the jump pack and run it in your- Now my daughter's reaction in the beginning sums up the jump pack perfectly. It's really cool. Everybody loves a jetpack in most video games. It's just so much fun and this one is no different. It truly was a fun experience and not only that, it came in handy in more scenarios than I thought it would. It was great at getting you to high ground and defending the extract or other objectives. It also dampens a jump from any height, allowing you to jump off a cliff to avoid danger and you won't ragdoll or take damage. The jump pack saved my life more times than I can count when used correctly. You truly had to strategize when you were going to use it due to its cooldown. The cooldown is roughly 15 seconds, making it a one-time use or a get out of danger quick button. One major disappointment for me was the inability to stim or aim and shoot while you're in the air. This means that when you were jumping to avoid danger, you had to make sure that your landing area was clear to give you a little bit of time to stim and readjust before getting back into battle. If not, you just get swarmed and killed again. Just adding the ability to fire in the air and stim would make the jump pack so much more useful, but I would rather see a higher boost jump or the ability to hover for a few seconds and half the cooldown time. If all these were implemented at the same time, it would make the jump pack a stratagem worth using for sure. The jump pack is still great when paired up with the arc guard. It is very powerful and fun. I just think some minor changes to make it just that much better to stack up against the shield backpack would help. It targets a specific audience just like the ballistic shield, and I am that audience. I just want to feel the nostalgia of playing Battlefront as a kid flying around and electrocuting bugs and robots. Is that too much to ask? Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and see more weapon reviews or whatever else I feel like posting. See you guys in the next one.